You never get. A, I never had that chance to observe myself teach. So seeing what's actually happening, not what I think's happening. Um, being able to take risks and fail completely, and then have those really rich conversations with you um, after that, really unpicking what what worked and what didn't work. So I think from yeah, that ability just to take risks and know that rich learning will come out of it, whether it's brilliant or whether it's an absolute flop. It's more aware of, oh, mistakes. Mm. I think that's something that we use a lot more now. And all, and I feel like this, possibly my favorite thing to do in maths is hold up three answers and one of them is um, right. And um, they love it. And mm. they don't, and, and it makes them much more resistant and resilient because they enjoy seeing the um, you know, picking them out, but the children who make the mistakes always catch themselves, mm. even, you know, they haven't even been told they're wrong, and they see it, and they... ...interrupt them. Um, so even things that you might not have noticed in the lesson, actually, um, they were collaborating, they were, they were helping each other, and they were obviously interested in what other children were doing, and then thinking, oh, perhaps I could... Perhaps I could add that to my work. So, for a day with other teachers and discussing how we've approached problems before, or how um, how lessons haven't worked before, and why they haven't worked before. Um, for instance, we went through planning our science day activities together, and that really felt like it, it bonded us. But we were also um, we were sharing ideas um, and that community of practice within the school was strengthened. But I think also the questioning has made them think more, which I think is really important particularly with this age group because they can't... I'm trying not to let them answer in one words, they have to put it into a sentence and even if they say... I'm much more aware in my questioning that I'm not just taking a child's answer at face value but really probing beneath that and understanding the learning process and how they've reached that answer. So yeah, being much more suspicious about your finished product. Yeah. And in my other role, um, because I've observed across the school, I can see that people who've done the OTI are using what they've learnt in their lessons. So it's not just that they're doing it like during the part, you know, when they're doing the course or whatever, they are continuing to use it over time. And that's the part that I think is most helpful. Great.